Gates said there were more people dying of malaria than any specific cancer, and he wasn't lying. You know what is responsible for this disease? This bugger right here, this insect. This is supposed to be a mosquito. It's made to look pretty and beautiful, but it's not. It's a very complicated and complex insect. It carries a parasite called Plasmodium falciparum, of which it transmits to human, and that's what results in malaria. And you know what? It is a preventable and treatable disease. But according to the WHO report for 2016, over 200 million cases were recorded of this disease, of which 90% of those cases were from sub saharan Africa, mm -hmm. and over 400,000 deaths from that specific year, and of which 92% of those deaths were also from sub saharan Africa. You know the people at risk of getting this disease? Children under the age of five and pregnant women because of their weak immune system. And another thing you should know is a child dies every two minutes of malaria. So for this year, World Malaria Day, the WH, which is the World Health Organization, has a theme which is push for prevention and malaria for good. And as a result of this, the University of Pretoria Institute of Sustainable Malaria Control is partnered with Taxa, from which is the campus radio station for UP, to have a Malaria Awareness Week. And you did not know this, but I'm also a radio presenter. And so I will be on air from 9 to 12 every day from Tuesday, which is the 18th of April to the 26th of April, talking about malaria and interviewing people from the director of the institute to students who are actually involved in malaria research. Another thing you did not know about me is I grew up in malaria and I experienced many bouts of malaria growing up. And not just me, myself and many other children out there. And I'm passionate about malaria research. For my honors, my paper was based on identifying factors that influence severity of malaria amongst children under the age of five in Swaziland. And I've carried on with malaria research even for my master's degree. And I'm really passionate about it. Really, really passionate about it. So for this week, I will be putting up mini vlogs, just about two to four minutes vlogs of the conversation we have on here about malaria. Because after all, we're trying to push for prevention. And how would you be able to prevent yourself from getting malaria if you don't know anything about it? So, if you can tune into the show, do that. If you can't, I will try my best to make sure the vlog has enough information to have about malaria. And eventually, at the end of it all, if you can get one thing out of it that helps you prevent yourself from getting malaria, then this will have been all worth it. So please, Allow me, but this week we're not going to be talking about boys and girls, coconut, or how to take taxes in Africa. Hell no, we're not doing that this week. We are going to be talking about malaria from now till the 26th of April. And tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Make sure you spread the information, spread the knowledge, spread everything that you know about it. Because I strongly believe that we can eliminate malaria in our lifetime. Thank you for watching. This is my YouTube channel. Life is Tammy Sees It. And this is really life as I see it. And I'm Tammy Adebayo. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we put an end to this bugger. Like, end it for good. <laughs>